Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Santero. Hope everyone is well. Libra, it's time. It's finally time for your second half of May reading. This reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Libra. You can check your Moon Rising or Venus sign readings if you need a little extra clarity or would like something that might resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. It may play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher, and you guys are welcome here too. Come on in and have a seat. I appreciate your existence. Okay, one more shuffle for Libra. I am battling a fucking migraine from hell right now, pardon my French, but I want to get this content up. Get as much of it up as I can. <laughs> I know. Faith, you gotta stop. No, I don't gotta stop. Alright, why are you here is the Ace of Swords reverse, so there's no communication with someone. Uh, no m new communication anyway. Okay. Oh, wow. What cardinal signs? You guys are kicking my ass. You guys are kicking my ass. It's like, what soap opera network am I watching right now? Oh, my God. Okay. <sighs> Libra. How you feel about the person you're dealing with is the two of wands. They're looking ahead to the future. The world is literally in the palm of their hand. It's forward movement. This particular card doesn't depict anything being held on to that may be holding them back. So, they're forward thinking. They're moving along. What you think of them is the Queen of Swords reversed. So, uh, you kind of feel like they got a little bit of a crappy attitude about something, possibly? Possibly. Hmm. Something? What? I don't know. We'll get clarity on that. What you want from them is the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is the end of a painful cycle. It is the sun to finally shine again. You want them to acknowledge that the worst of it's over. Okay. Fine. How they feel about you is the Three of Swords in the reverse. So... They feel like you're coming out of a state of heartbreak. Okay. What they think of you is the moon. There's something mysterious about you. Foggy details. In other words, they don't know much. What they want from you is the Three of Wands reversed. They want you to stop waiting on something. I got two threes here. They're upside down, but I still got two threes here. The challenge here is someone's closed off emotionally. Hmm. 
what needs to be done is strength. Strength's a pretty open-ended card. In this instance, I think it's representing trust. Oh, wow. I just noticed something. It's that darn black cat again. I just noticed that there's three people in the strength card. Well, not people. Two of them are cats, but still. Very interesting, but it is the everyday witch tarot. I think there's a cat in every card. No new communication. Trust. Emotional closing off. Forward moving. Ending the pain. Coming out of heartbreak. Not waiting on something. Oh, it's all coming together for me now. It's all coming together. Let's get a little bit of clarity. Libra. You may need to make up your mind. I don't know if it's you or the person you're dealing with, but somebody here has got to make their mind up. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Libra for their second half of May reading, please? Oh, boy. The projected outcome is a return. Six of Swords reversed. Oh, I knocked that out. It didn't fly out by itself. We're going to shuffle it back in. I didn't see what it was. We're not going to pay attention to what it was. If it comes back out, it comes back out. If it don't, it wasn't meant to. <sighs> One card on the Two of Wands, please. Why is the Two of Wands here for how Libra feels about the other person? Why is two of wands here? Eight of Pentacles. Forward thinker. They're a mover. They're a shaker. They're always working on something. They're putting the work in. They're putting the work into themselves. Maybe putting the work into the connection. But they're putting the work in. They're doing what needs to be done. Okay. Why is Queen of Swords here? Why is Queen of Swords reversed here? You don't want to talk. Do you want to talk? Want to talk? We'll see if you come back out. Death came out. <clears throat> they have a bad attitude. Metamorphosis, change. Maybe how you think about them is changing. Maybe they're changing. Situation's changing. One more. See, if I would have let it land, it would have landed in the reverse. We're going to take it in the reverse. Nine of Cups reversed. Mm. That's the difference between being happy and getting happy. And when you're getting happy, sometimes you're getting happy the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Overindulgence. Bad attitudes. Things are changing. Okay. Why is the Ten of Swords here? 
sun reversed. Well, the sun ain't shining. You just want the sun to camp come back up, Libra. You want this to be over with. I don't know if it's something you guys are going through mutually, if it's something they're going through, something you're going through. You just want it to be over and done with. Sun card reversed. The sun isn't shining. There is no happiness. There's a broken connection. Perhaps this Eight of Pentacles on top of this Two of Wands means they spend a lot of time working. Not necessarily on the connection. Take it however it resonates. One more. One more on the Ten of Swords in the upright, please. Thanks. Two of Cups. You want whatever they're going through to be done and over with. And you want that connection to be broken and forgotten. So y'all can do your thing. Okay. Because whatever that connection is, is messing with them a little. They work too much. They're a forward thinker and they're a forward mover, but they work too much. Bad attitude. They're getting happy all the time. They're, they're getting happy, not being happy. Huge difference between those two statements. Why is the Three of Swords reversed here? Four wands reversed. They're coming out of the state of heartbreak, but the foundation's still shaky. The dust hasn't settled yet. I think the tower has fallen, but the dust hasn't settled yet. This is what the th that's how they feel about you. Dust is still settling from something old. One more. The Fool. New ventures, new paths. They think you jump into things a lot. Possibly without thinking. You're mirroring each other a little bit there. Mover, shaker. Maybe you're jumping into something before the dust has settled completely, and that's how they feel. Still not 100% sure where this Ace of Swords reversed is coming into play, but not talking about it anyway. Why is the moon reversed here? Hanging man reversed. That flipped before that I asked the question. That card's not supposed to go there. That card goes there. It's the card I was talking about when it flipped, so that's how we're going to do this. There's no communication and someone's emotionally stuck. I hate it when that happens. Don't you? That's a limbo spread right there. That's energetic limbo. That is, you're stuck and you don't know why. Somebody's talking. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? Finally landed. Hold on. Ten cups reverse. Secrets, unknown, smoke and mirrors.
sad story they don't know the details of. Coming out of a state of heartbreak. Left hanging in emotional limbo. The things you don't talk about. One more. Three of Wands in the upright. That thing you're still waiting to come back around. They want you to stop waiting. Libra. You gotta make a decision. I don't even know what I'm gonna call this yet. Why is the Three of Wands reversed here? Nine of Pentacles. They want you to be independent of this, whatever that was. Yes, they want your painful cycle to end, but... Sorry, you want their painful cycle to end. And they want you to stop waiting on something that you're still waiting on. Hi, Pot. My name's Kettle. One more on this, please. Did we have a flip? Oh, we did! The Empress Reverse. They want you to stop waiting on something that is not going to grow. They want you to be independent of it. Possibly they want you to stop waiting on them. Maybe they feel like you left them waiting. That's interesting. I wonder who that's going to resonate with. Lots of stories here on this table. It all depends on perspective and... How big the panther is looking back up at the kitty cat. Ugh. Ten of Wands flew out without intention. Apparently someone has a burden that they need to release. We're going to shove that up there. Why is the King of Cups reversed here? Why you got to be like that, yo? There's an emotional closing off because someone wasn't, someone wasn't ready to commit. Someone wasn't ready to commit because they had an old cycle that they didn't close out. They weren't ready. Left somebody waiting without details. Why? 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 No, they're kind of leaving you waiting. Could be. Hey. One more on that, please. I never like it when I see two threes on a table. Mm. The lovers. The acknowledgement of a connection.
when it landed it was upright when it flipped it was reversed it could be right either way oh my gosh work keeps blowing up my phone I had two devices blowing up during the Capricorn rain it's like leave me alone I understand I can't silence the devices but guys come on I gotta do my thing here the place ain't burning down shut your pie holes <sighs> anyway. That's weird. Wow. Powerful connections. Alright, what needs to be done is strength. Trust. Trust. Seven of Swords. Ooh. Eight of Cups. Oh, wow. Moving forward, moving on from all those kicked over cups. Mm. Five of Swords can represent picking up pieces, Two of Swords represents a decision. This particular Seven of Swords in this particular deck, the Gilded deck, it's very interesting to me. There's the five swords you picked up and the two swords you left behind. What needs to be done is trusting each other. Because you both had stuff you walked away from. I think you're both in a little bit of an emotional limbo right now. Very obviously coming out of states of heartbreak and getting happy instead of being happy and in processes of change. Wow. One more on what needs to be done. Five of Cups. Process the pain. You need to finish processing because this has come back to haunt you. It's led to mistrust and things happening that shouldn't have been happening. Libra. The two cups are still there. Somebody just can't see them. Okay. Projected outcome is the Six of Swords. It's, it's the return card. Okay, well. 
Judgment reversed. Another return card. Six of Wands. Victory after the battle. If y'all are in separation, might be a return coming. If y'all aren't in separation, might be time to walk away. Sometimes, Sometimes, my grandmother, many, many, many years ago, I was a teenager. I love telling this story, by the way. Um, the domestic partner and I actually dated when we were kids. I was 16 when we broke up. He had just turned 18. So, yeah. Um, I remember sitting at the picnic table with my grandmother, and I was all bummed out about what had just happened. And she said to me, let him go. If he truly loves you, and it is truly meant to be, one day you will find each other again. That was in 1997? In 2009, we found each other again. Yeah? Yeah? We ended up getting married. And on my wedding day, my grandmother, she was just a short little thing. I'm like 5'8". She was just short little thing, like five foot nothing. She pulls me in for a hug, and I bend over, and she whispers in my ear, I told you so, and she bought me on the back of the head. <laughs> told you so. If you truly love each other, and it is truly meant to be, you will find your way back to each other. The domestic partner and I have since divorced and come back together, and it's just a shit show, but we're making it work right now. We're roommates, more or less, but, you know, we function pretty well together in a living situation as, as long as nothing's on paper. You know what I'm saying? We cool. He has his life. I have mine. We're both here for our son. Everything's wonderful. But, neither here nor there. Moral of the story is... It's meant to be, it will be. If it is not, it will not. Don't get emotionally hung up. Mm. Okay, your advice. I'll shut my pie hole and let the cards talk for a second. The Magician reversed and the Page of Swords reversed. Oh, wow. This thought just pops into my head. If it is just not manifesting and just not working out the way you want it to, it may not suit you to find out why. The Knight of Swords is Sherlock Holmes. This is Dr. Watson. This this is the little yes man. Okay? Okay? That's, that's the yes man. It may not suit you to find out why. So all the smoke and mirrors and stuff over here, let it be smoke and mirrors. It's not your issue to work out. Crosswatcher, this was your side, or the person Libra's dealing with. It's not your position or your business to work out somebody else's stuff, no matter who I'm talking to. Okay? Let it be. If they want to share, they'll share. Don't go digging. Eight of Pentacles reversed and the Six of Cups reversed. Okay. Hmm. No, 
Okay, Eight of Pentacles reversed, Six of Cups reversed. No matter how much work you put in or do not put into old connections, it does not make them any saltier or sweeter. Anything you do now is not going to change what has already been done. You do not have that kind of power. No one does. Not even me. Even the universe can't change the past. All you can do is go on the path you're supposed to be on. The Six of Wands and the Seven of Wands. You are in control of your victory. You and your. You and your. Not there. You are in control of your victory and your victory alone. You can't fight someone else's battles. Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Sometimes you have to put a little time and distance and walk away and allow the seed to sprout on its own. Sometimes you gotta put the house plant on the back porch. See what it does. And you might get a victory out of the deal. But you have to let something go away before it can come back, right? Yeah, yeah, you do. If you never let the bird sp pr spread its wings and, and fly, it won't fly back. It winds up right five of swords reversed. Okay. Wow. Fast forward movement and inability to pick the pieces up. I think I have to read that with these. It's not going to make sense if I don't. Three of Pentacles, Game of Pentacles. Okay. Build a, stable funda build a stable foundation or the house will crumble. Leave the past behind you. Leave the past behind you. I'm hearing leave the past behind you. Okay, Libra, this has been your reading. I don't know how much of that resonated. As far as the advice goes, that was sketch. Somebody needed that. So, I'm going to leave that be. Okay. I need to go make dinner. <laughs> so... I'm going to be gone for a couple hours. I will return later this evening and finish out the cycle so it's all done, hopefully before I go to bed tonight. Take care, Libra. You guys have been wonderful. I appreciate your patience, and I appreciate you guys stopping by today. Like I said, my mom was a Libra. I was very close to my mother, and I miss her very much. She's been passed on for five years now, so I like doing the Libra readings. It makes me feel a little bit more in touch with my mom, you know? Anyway, take care. Be blessed. Love you to bits. And 
I'll catch you next week.